co-worker at the seminary here and I decided that I wanted to go on my lunch break and play some pool in the dormitory. I don't see a problem with that. Apparently this big red joker ninja monster devil thing did because when I was playing pool he sneaks up on me and scares me. Who does that? Oh yes, Halloween. Some call it the scariest day of the year. Oh, all day scary. But this one, people just dress up weird. It's a good, it's a good day. People have fun. I have fun. Everyone has fun. Everyone has fun together. Combined fun. Double it up, baby. Halloween is a fun time for me. Because I already fit in. I have to wear a costume every day because I'm Puerto Rican Mafia man. So I just add this bracelet to make him a little more bling, you know? That's my costume. Something is gonna kill me. I need a change of underwear. Dude. Downstairs, playing pool, and something came out and down. Did I just play? I think so. But I have mafia guards all over this place. No one should be in here. <laughs> You know, it's uh, kind of strange being scared because I'm a really tough guy, you know, as most Puerto Ricans are. But then this clown dude made me feel like a little girl, like a little child. No Puerto Rican should ever feel like that again. Then the piano plays. Look around, no one's there. Red Ninja Devil thing is right here. Scared me. Two months in working in the seminary. How's your day been? Uh, that's very good. Excellent. I'm yeah. really glad to hear that. I'm glad. And you know... <laughs> so Andy, he is from Africa, and so I was having my normal weekly conversation with him, and we we're walking down the hallway, and then something jumped out. Actually, I didn't get a very good look, but I was terrified. However, I think I probably should go around to each of the residents and let them know that there's something running around on the loose. I'm scared because this is my first time I've seen something like this. I've never seen this before. Oh, it looks very scary. Yeah. There was this, this crazy person going around, going around campus, scaring people. I, I, I just don't understand what it is. <laughs> ah, it's me. <laughs> I love Halloween. <laughs> I came up with this idea. I know what we need to do. We need to scare the Lord into some people. We need a hell house. So I kind of have a problem saying no. And Joey today asked me if I would participate in his hell house. And honestly, that's just not what I think that God's message is. However, I don't want to let him down. And so here I am. I guess I'm going to be somebody that gets saved, which I guess that's a good thing. So I, I just need to look for the positive thing in this. So like I've been a bouncer all over the place. These seminarians, they're crazy. I'm telling you, you get them, they talk about their Jesus and their love, and you let them lose some alcohol, it goes nuts, man, nuts. This is going to be the craziest gig I've ever done. Hi, I know I'm a little small to be a bouncer. Um, but when Jeff was explaining the job to me, he said it really wasn't about size. He said w what I lacked in size, I, I made up in crazy. So, I think that was a compliment. So, as dean of the seminary, I hear it all. And the time students came and they wanted all the faculty to stop putting grades on their papers, the student's idea was, we just want shiny stars on our papers, just use a series of stars. That was a, a kind of a interesting idea, but the faculty didn't go for it. And now they've got another wacky idea. They want to have a judgment house for Halloween. A judgment house kind of misses the point because Halloween is a Christian festival. We want the saints to walk with us through this dark time from Halloween to Christmas from All Saints to Christmas. 
So the night before All Saints Day, all the creepy crawly critters come out to see if they can do their worst. But sure enough, on November 1, the saints come in and the victory of Christ is made. <laughs> well, it's, it's 1993 and I'm in, I'm in the third grade and, and all of a sudden I, I see this girl coming at me and I said, hey girl, what's going on? And she said, I've got to go get my kite off of the telephone wire. And I said, I said, well, don't do that. You need a firecracker. Everyone keeps coming up to me today and saying nice redneck costume. I, I forgot it was Halloween. I'm not wearing a costume. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm so excited for our turnout today. We are going to get some souls saved today. Hallelujah. This isn't the first time I've played God. I've actually played God two other times. Once in my kindergarten Easter pageant and once on Sesame Street. Hey, so uh, I'd like to thank you all for uh, coming to this judgment house. I'd like to open us up with a scripture from Ezekiel 25 verse 17. The path of the righteous man is beset on all sides by the iniquity and the selfish and the tyranny of evil men. Blessed, I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger those who attempt to poison and deceit, my brothers, and you will know my name is the Lord mm, watch out. when I lay my vengeance upon thee. Amen. Let's have a judgment house. I say in the name of Jesus, you will let me through this door. I say in the name of Jesus, I shall not. Let me through this door, or I will bring the judgment of the Lord upon you. I am the judgment of the Lord, and I will hurl you back out through this door. Again, sir. Oh, Jeff, Jeff, let me in here. Hey, hey, hey. It's all right. He's good. You love me this time. You can watch out, sir. You better pray a rosary. Wait a minute, where, where is my judgment house? Oh, you're gonna see a judgment house. All right, get it. My heart's breaking tonight. I'm, I had such high hopes for our hell house in and they turned it into debauchery. Satan has infested our seminary. Oh, Lord, have mercy. This is not what the Lord had planned. Even such debauchery. Oh, it's okay. Everyone wants to have fun every once in a while. There shall be no dancing or fun in this place. This is a seminary, a house of the Lord. You're right, but come on, have some fun. So you've been tempted by the devil. So, I'm not really sure if Joey was condemning my character at the Hell House, or if he was truly meaning me. I really need to learn how to say no. I'm not sure why Joey's mad. I did everything he asked me to do. I spoke in a southern accent, quoted from the Bible, and just after he left we started setting people on fire. Guess you just can't please some people. <laughs> 